is up guys this is patrick where your prof next door and for today's video we will be discussing inventory management so we are uh, making the best of our time during this period of enhanced community quarantine Let's start with our discussion with inventory management. First, what is inventory? Ano bang ibig sabihin ng inventory? As defined by PS2, inventory are assets held for sale in the ordinary course of business. And in here, when we say inventory management, it is a process of formulation and administration of plans and policies to efficiently and satisfactorily meet production and merchandising requirements and minimize costs relative to inventories. So the objectives of this topic is to deliver sales on time to your customers at the lowest possible cost. Remember, when you produce something or you sell something, it entails cost. One of the models that we need to know under inventory management is the what we call economic order quantity or the EOQ model. The formula for this is the square root of 2 multiplied by D multiplied by O all over C. Now, ano po yung D? D stands for annual demand in units. O stands for ordering costs. In other books, they use handling costs as the word. And C is the carrying cost or the holding cost. It answers the question, how many units to be ordered? So, ginagamit po yung pong economic order quantity para po ma-determine natin kung ilang units ba yung o-orderin para ma-minimize yung gastos mo of storing the inventory in your warehouse or minimizing your cost when it comes to uh, delivery of these goods. Now, first, Ordering costs involves your freight, your shipping, or setup costs. It is inversely related with the number of units ordered. So as you can see in the graph, as the number of units you order one time increases, the ordering cost per unit decreases. Kasi for example, if you will um, order some goods from Manila going to Angeles, and ang in-order mo is 10 units, okay, at ang halaga niya is 500 pesos, so in short, pag i-distribute mo yun, nasa 50 peso per unit yung kanyang cost. Yun nga lang, kung tatagdagan mo yun, gagawin mo 20 units yung delivery from Manila going to Angeles, bababa yung unit cost mo sa ordering ng 25 pesos na lang. So it's inversely related to the number of units ordered. Now, how do we compute your total ordering cost? The computation is... Annual demand divided by EOQ multiplied by the ordering cost per unit. Carrying cost. Carrying cost, example of this one, are storage costs, interest, insurance, and obsolescence. It is directly related with inventory buildup. So, as you can see in the graph, as the number of units increases, your holding cost or your carrying cost increases because you need additional space in your warehouse and it entails rent, of course. And rent is translated into additional costs. So how do we compute for the total carrying costs? That is EOQ divided by 2 multiplied by carrying costs per unit. Looking at this graph, pababa yung ating ordering costs as the number of units increases while holding costs or your carrying costs increases as the number of units increases. Kung saan sila nag-intersect, that is what we call your EOQ or your economic order quantity because in that portion, we are minimizing the total ordering costs and the total carrying costs. Yun yung pinaka minimum amount nila. Now, what are the important assumptions when it comes to this EOQ? Number one, ordering cost remains constant. Number two, demand is known and evenly spread. Number three, lead time is not fluctuating. Number four, no discount available to customers. Number five, one product only offered. Number six, there's no delay on replenishment. So as you can see, it is an ideal scenario. Kasi dapat lahat ng yan mamit mo para ma-apply mo yung EOQ model. Okay, next, we will discuss the different kinds of time when it comes to your inventory management. Let us have your five types of time. So we have wait time, process time, inspection time, move time, and queue time. When we say wait time, it is the time that you will receive 
the order from your customers until the time that you will start production. Next is process time. When we say process time, it is the time that you will uh, convert your raw materials into finished goods. Next is inspection time. When we say inspection times, this is the time that you will appraise your goods to know which are within the specifications or not. Next is we have move time. It is the time that you will transfer the goods from your warehouse going to your stores. And lastly, we have the queue time, the time that you will ship the goods from your stores going to your customers. We have what we call manufacturing cycle time, also known as product cycle or throughput time. How do we compute for the manufacturing cycle time? That is process time plus inspection time plus move time plus queue time. Then we have the delivery cycle time or the lead time. The computation is wait time plus process time plus inspection time plus move time plus queue time. So among these five types of time, we can classify them further into value added and non-value added. When we say value added, these are the time that adds to the value or the importance or worth of your product and it qualifies only one which is process time. Now we need to compute what we call the manufacturing cycle efficiency or the MCE. The formula is value added time divided by manufacturing cycle time. Let's proceed to reorder point. It answers the question when to place an order. Nina, EOQ answers the question how many units to order. Now it answers the time. Kailan ka bibili dun sa supplier mo? We can compute it into two. If you maintain safety stocks or you do not maintain safety stocks. If you do not maintain safety stocks, the formula is normal lead time multiplied by the average usage. How do we compute for the average usage? That is annual demand divided by working days. If you maintain safety stocks, the formula for your ROP maximum lead time multiplied by the average usage. Now, how to compute your safety stocks? That is maximum lead time minus normal lead time multiplied by the average usage. Looking at this graph, as we can see, we will only order kapag na-reach na na yung reorder point mo. And then, you have your lead time that you will compute so that you will know kailan mo receive yung order mo. Hindi ka magkakaroon ng shortage or oversupply of your goods. To end our discussion with inventory management, there is a quotation from Joseph Brand which says, Control the inventory, control the profits. I hope you learned something from our video for today. So, sa mga hindi pa po nakasubscribe dyan, uh, click the subscribe button and hit the bell. So, good day guys!